William. You're on the air. Uh, hello, Dr. Wallach. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah, I'm calling for a young lady. She's 20 years old. She's about 4 foot 8 and about 85 pounds. Um, when she was 7, she developed a schwannoma tumor in the brain. I'm not sure you're aware of that. Um, right. So they did. Okay. Well, 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 hold on. You said what kind of tumor? I missed that. Uh, schwannoma. Do you want me to spell that? Okay, this is in her brain? Yes. Okay, is this a, um, so say, oh, is this a benign tumor or a cancerous, cancerous tumor? Um, it's benign. They operated on it when she was seven. Then they did radiotherapy, and they got it down to about the size of a penny. They say it's still there now, but it's benign. But they also okay, damaged her spinal cord. Is this in her pituitary? Sorry, excuse me? Is this in her pituitary gland? Yeah. That's where it was, okay. yeah. Okay. And, all right. And so, what, does she have any clinical symptoms? I mean, you know, has she lost speech? Is she paralyzed? Does she have uh, burning in her feet? I mean, what kind of symptoms does she have that might be related to this tumor? Um, well, she, they damaged her spinal cord from the radiotherapy, so she's on growth hormones, they say, for life, because they said she doesn't produce any. They also damaged her thyroid gland, so she has low thyroid and um, she's low energy all the time. And then when she was 11 years old, she developed epilepsy, so she's a few things going on. So she got acquired, acquired seizures, okay, and she has yeah. thyroid problems, and she's yeah. short, okay. Yes. And it's a growth hormone. And let's see here, and she's how old? Yeah, she's 20 years old. 20 years old, okay. Has she gone through puberty or not? Or Yeah, she's gone through puberty, yeah. It was only in the last couple of years they put on the growth hormone injections. Okay, and so has she had a pregnancy? Then, has she been married and have a pregnancy? Uh, no. Okay, but she is cycling. Sorry, excuse me? Or is she cycling, having her periods? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, good. All right, 85 pounds, 20 years old. Okay, Char, what would you do for this girl? She's um, uh, had a series of growth hormones. She had a benign tumor in her pituitary. She's got low thyroid. Um, she's got acquired seizures. And uh, let's say she's short. And um, so let's start there. What would you do for her? Well, I'd give her the healthy brain and heart pack, and then I'd give her the synapse, and I'd give her the HGA. And uh, basically, Char said it right, that at 85 pounds, I would give this uh, young woman, 20 years old, with all these uh, pituitary problems, benign tumor, um, which means the, the pituitary is missing something. And so it kind of got bigger trying to do its job because it wasn't getting what it wanted. And so they call it a tumor um, because it's an enlargement. But when you come down to you look up in any medical dictionary, the word tumor, it says an enlargement. It could be an abscess, a dental abscess, you know, the root canal abscess could be a tumor. Um, and so forth, because any enlargement, um, whether it causes symptoms or not, they would call a tumor, not a cancer. And so, the charge is exactly correct. At 85 pounds, they give her one healthy brain and heart pack per month, a full dose of everything um, per month, and as a half a dose of breakfast and dinner. Uh, because uh, she has pituitary problems and some of it's been removed, I'd give her the HGH. I'd go ahead and give her three of those capsules of breakfast and three at dinner time. That'd be one bottle a month. The HGH is an acronym for human growth hormone. It's not a hormone. It's actually the raw materials for the pituitary to do, do its job. Because she has a, a history of thyroid issues, I'd go ahead and also get her the Ocean's Gold. I'd give her three of the Ocean's Gold twice a day, uh, two bottles a month. And for the acquired seizures, what would you do for her seizures, Char? Well, the synaptive should help a little bit, shouldn't it? Yep. Oh, absolutely. Let's go with synaptive. I'd have her take three of those twice a day, the synaptive, and uh, that would be two bottles a month. But also, in the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, there's going to be the ability to give her three of the EFA Pluses for breakfast and the three EFAs at dinner time. So between the ingredients in the EFAs and EFA Pluses and the synaptive and your Healthy Brain and Heart Pack and so forth and the HGH, uh, she's going to see some significant improvement. Now, uh, I haven't seen all the records. Uh, I don't have the caps yet over head and so forth, so I can't give you percentages, but it will be some interesting improvements. And so if you would, William, please call us uh, every two weeks or so or any time she goes to a doctor for an update evaluation, uh, give us some additional information. But it was, and just let us know what's going on. Staying the same, getting better, getting worse, and then we know how to help her. 
Thank you so much.